Hey everybody, today we are going to be making these wonderful decorative flip-flaps, I call them, out of just some wonderful old part of a calendar, last year's calendar. So welcome to day 15. This is Rebecca, or Creativa, and I am so excited you are here. So I had this beautiful calendar left over last year. It was one that the Graphics Fairy um, gives every year with her beautiful images. And I just thought, I don't want to throw those away. They are still really beautiful. So I decided I was just going to bring them in and I'll probably put these throughout this book because they're very feminine and they are very um, keeping with the theme, I think. So anyway, I think I'm going to try this one today. And as you can see over here, this is flips back and forth. You want both sides to be nice. <laughs> And I have made this doubly useful by giving a little journal card in this little pocket protector. So what it is, remember when we glued pages together, we didn't need to do too many. I think there's two on the front here and one on the back. So that's a pretty sturdy page now. And this goes down in between and is glued down there and I left a little area where I can insert a card. So there's lots of things we are going to do today. We're also going to use one of the cards we decorated on the first day and we stamped and we've done some other things to it. So we're gonna be making use of that. And the first thing I wanna do is come in here and I want to find the area that I am going to cut out or cut around and I'm just going to fold that back to make sure it works nicely and I think that's pretty good so let's glue that down this does not need to be decorated because this is going to be the insert in the book. So we want it as long as we possibly can to give that a little bit of leverage to stay glued down inside, right? So let's just get our dry glue, glue stick, and put that on there. And then we're gonna fit that around and get it straight as possible. We want that to be straight on there. Anyway, that's burnished down there nicely. And what I want to do is put something on the back of this at this point in time before I cut it out. So I'm going to use this. I want to leave a nice open space for journaling. So I think I'm going to use this edge of it here. And we need about that much. So I'm just going to bend that back. Let's, I'm gonna cut a little inside of that bend right there. Because I think that's about what we need save this because we're going to use that in just a second let's go ahead and glue this in place Before that gets sticky, I'm going to turn that around because that front edge is going to be cut off. So I kind of wanted this nice little mark to stay on there. So there we go. And then we just cut out around fairly carefully around the shapes. This isn't totally fussy cutting. 
it's just giving some shape and form to our flap, our flipper flap. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let me get that out of the way. So I am gonna fold this over now. And I am gonna trim, I got a little bit of excess, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off. Okay, so now is the time that we want to age the edges just a little bit. And of course, my favorite way to do that is with none other than this awesome shoe polish. So let me see if I can do this quickly. Okay, so I think that looks good. That's pretty. It's got some butterflies on it and those lovely flowers. And let me turn to the page we're actually going to be working on today. I prepped that a little bit and gave a little bit of color on that page to match the rest of our book. So I am going to go ahead and cut our journaling card just a little bit shorter than our white space here. Go ahead and trim that off. And let's round the corners. I like my journaling cards to have rounded corners. And I think I'm going to leave one unrounded. I like that little asymmetry there. So I think that's going to be just fine for us. And okay, so this was like two pages glued together already. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Making sure that it's right along that edge as snugly as possible. Then I am going to go ahead and glue our pages together now. And make sure that these line up pretty carefully because they can get a little bit wonky in there. So you want to make sure. And I went ahead and glued the whole darn thing and didn't leave room for our little journaling card. <laughs> That's what you get for being in a hurry, Rebecca. So there's not going to be a journaling card down in that flap. But we will make that another day. I promise. If I had done it well, I would have just glued right around that little area. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. That's how she goes. You have to make adjustments if you make little mistakes along the way. So anyway, there is our nice little flip flap inserted in our book. Isn't that pretty cool? Love it. And what I did was just find some words in our pages that we kind of decorated yesterday that would go on the back of this and cut it out. I like that one. Unpredictable woman. That's definitely going to be in this book. Of 
Ooh, I like that. Unpredictable woman making her plans. I hope you had fun yesterday making those lovely little prints. I wild away the whole afternoon doing those. Let me get my glue. Unpredictable woman making her plans. That would so be about me. And I'm just gonna put that on the back here. Smooth it down. And I'm gonna come in here with my little Tombow and accentuate the edges of that just a little bit. Okay, I love that. <laughs> and I hope you love it too. And sorry we didn't leave room for our journaling card, but we will have that someday. I'll make a pocket somehow. So let me show this to you close up. Unpredictable woman making her plans. That would so be about me. So I hope you have fun today adding some flaps, little flip flaps to your book. Yeah, this is day 15. We are really moving in there. Half a month is gone. I am excited, excited about that. It's been a fun month so far. So anyway, I will see you here tomorrow. This is Rebecca saying, may peace and joy be with you all.